Hey, Dave the Butterfly Guy here. So today I'm going to talk to you about expanding my butterfly garden and I'm going to introduce some new plants to my garden and try and mix things up a little bit. My garden currently has a lot of pinks and purples. I have cosmos and petunias on this side of the garden. And then as we go over here, I've got, this is all my phlox. And I have some allosum with some purple and white ones some creeping phlox, more petunias, but everything's purple. So my goal is to mix up the colors a little bit and try to add some new colors into my garden. All right, I got enough purple in my garden. What I need to do is get rid of the purple and I need to add some white, right? So I've added a, some white uh, Shasta daisies, they come in white with a little yellow center, so that's going to be part of the addition. So in addition to the Shasta daisies, which adds some white to my purples, but I don't want just white, I need some yellow. So the white comes off, and now, check it out, I'm a black-eyed Susan with yellow, gold, black, and you can see these black eyed Susans are gonna add all kinds of yellow and now with the daisies white to my garden to just offset some of those purples and pinks. So the first step I needed to take was to dig up some of my turf grass, which does nobody any good and expand to my garden. So I've dug up this area in my back. I got a bunch of compost and black dirt from my city for free. I've put some of that in. I actually have some more that I'm gonna put in before I plant today. I've got my rake, my shovel. And then the other thing I have is, I did get three black-eyed Susans in these gallon jugs, so they're pretty good size already. A couple Shasta daisies, so I'll lay that out. The other thing I have is some mulch, and so when I get done planting, I'll put some mulch around, which will help keep the soil moist and absorb some of that rainwater and help these plants grow big and healthy. All right, I'm gonna get to work. I've got some black dirt. I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna rake it out a little bit. All right, I've laid out my black dirt. I'm gonna place my plants. I'm going to start with, I have three black-eyed Susans, so I've got little markers to spread them out. I'm going to put the white daisies between the yellow black-eyed Susans. And I'm trying to keep the plants about maybe two, two and a half, three feet apart so they've got room to grow. Black-eyed Susans are gonna grow about maybe two, two and a half feet tall, maybe two feet wide. They have those beautiful clusters of yellow flowers. And the Shasta daisies will be just a little bit smaller than that. But I think it'll be a nice look in the middle of my garden here when I look down from my house. So I thought I'd share just a little bit of information about the black-eyed Susan. So they are a great pollinator. Lots of butterflies like them including monarch butterflies, checker spot butterflies, painted ladies, so it fits perfect in my garden. And the Shasta daisy also is a pollinating flower that attracts all kinds of butterflies. The black-eyed Susan also acts as a host plant for a couple of different uh, species. One's a moth and one's a butterfly. The silvery checker spot butterfly is the the black-eyed Susan's the host plant for that butterfly. So they lay lots of eggs they'll, on the plant. They'll have uh, all kinds of caterpillars and they'll devour those plants if they lay their eggs on them. So that's a potential downsize. They can heat your plant away because the black-eyed Susan's aren't all that big. Then the other uh, cool um, insect that goes to it is the wavy lined emerald moth. And I'm gonna show you a picture of that in a bit. They're really cool green, they blend in with their surroundings. And that uh, black-eyed Susan also acts as a host plant for the wavy lined emerald moth.
So I've dug the hole for my gallon jug of Black Eyed Susan. So I'm gonna work the plastic container a bit to loosen up the root ball and the roots that have been bound into this container. Make it a little easier to come out, hopefully. And then it's been in here a while, so you got to really break up these roots. It's a really tight root ball, so you got to really crank on this stuff and work it and break up that root so they can grow in the dirt. And now I've got my roots a little looser, so they'll hopefully be able to grow into the soil. I'm going to place it in. I've dug the hole deep enough, and I'll just fill in with my black dirt. Gonna pat it down a bit. Basically do the same thing with the Shasta Daisy. It's in a smaller container, so it'll be a little easier. I'm gonna loosen it up in the plastic shell, turn it upside down, take it out. I'm gonna break up the roots. They're not quite as, you know, put together as the Black Eyed Susan, and so a little easier to break up. I'm gonna put it in my hole, fill the dirt back in. Add it in, add a little water before you put the mulch down, and then make sure I water it daily for at least the first week here. All right, the next step is to water the plants. I've got some water. I'm going to go ahead and give them each a big dousing. All right, my next step is putting down mulch around my Black Eyed Susan. And you can see I've laid down some newspaper and that's kind of a more natural way of preventing weeds from growing up. And I'll put the mulch on top of it. I like doing that instead of putting down weed killer, right? So the paper will disintegrate and end up into the soil over time. But I think it's a good start these first year or two to put it down, prevent some weeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring some mulch. All right, so I've got some mulch down, the paper's underneath, and we're pretty good uh, to go right here. So I'm just gonna continue to work my way and I'll show you when I'm done with the whole area. All right, I've expanded my butterfly garden. I've added some great pollinating flowers, the Shasta Daisy and the Black Eyed Susan. So no longer do I just have purple in my garden with my hyssop and purple cone flowers, but now I've got some yellow with my new Black Eyed Susans and a little white with my Shasta Daisy. So the only plants I plant are pollinating flowers that butterflies feast on. Then the Black Eyed Susan has the benefit of also being a host plant for that silver checker spot butterfly. So with that, that's all I got today. I hope you add some new color to your butterfly garden, your po new pollinating plants for your garden. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out and have a great day.